Oh, didn't see you there. I'm Marcus Harrison, and today we're going to be learning how to survive in the wilderness. Oh! The first thing you want to do is find some food. Out in the wilderness, 100% of grass is not poisonous. So the first thing you want to do is find a tuft of grass and start chewing. These here are leaf cutter ants and they'll keep us alive for multiple days. They're packed with protein. So what you're going to want to do, pick one up while it's still squirming and put it in your mouth. Here we go. So this is how you're going to camp, alright? First, pick a spot without an ant hill. Step two, find a nice flat area. And finally, step three, lay down. Oh, looks like we've run into a fork at the path. What you're going to want to do is go with your gut and also be wary of loose rocks or they can slip you up just like this one. Get out, scumbag. On steep paths like these, you're going to want to be sure of your footing. One small slip and you could end up in that gully right there. See there? That seems to be man-made. If you find one of those, you're going to want to look around for more because man-made shelters make for great defense against wild animals. If you ever run out of leaf cutters, there's another source of protein. Those tourists up there, they're packed with it. This here seems to be exotic grass. Yummy! Some survivalists may tell you you need to cook your food, but it's always optional and uncooked meat is highly nutritional. All right, we found the shelter. Now what you're gonna wanna do is climb inside. Oh! Now remember, you need to be wary of little pebbles because if you let them crawl in your mouth, they will jack up your teeth while you're sleeping. Oh! Oh! Some dirt. More grass! I smell more tourists. More tourists! Get out, scumbag! Scumbag! Do you see that? That's a man-made shelter. Shelter. These sound like bones. Protein! Grass. Tourists. Oh. I think I see Jesus. You think you're better than me? Whoa! Think I maybe should have cooked that food. Better than me.